his uh his lamp is a big boombox stereo and there's this line where this white kid serves this little white boy and <laughs> And there's this line, the kid's like, oh, so that means you're my slave? Or like, it's, he basically, it, it's something like that if it isn't exactly wow. that. Wow. Wow. So we look at your book. I thought you were on top of it, son. I mean, you're making me not want to do it now. You're the one who's in charge. This we're going to do podcast. it. We're going to do prostitutes. We're going to do credit cards. Let's go. Prostitutes and credit cards. Okay. Yeah, prostitutes, only fans, sex workers. Now, et typically, people who do a a show, they don't just like flat out say what they're going to talk about up front. You know, oh. they kind of work it in organically. We know? we we could cut that out. We, we can that. cut it out. Are yeah. you sure? I think. And for the sake of being vulnerable and and authentic, we should keep it in. Fuck it, let's keep it in. Let's okay, do it. all right. So, prostitutes and credit cards, yes. which in, in no certain order, or, or how do you want to do this? Let's do it in that order. In that order, yeah. okay. So the maybe P some word. people, maybe some people appreciate. It. They're like, I wonder what they're talking about today, and we, I just saw I said it. Or like, you know what? I'm more <laughs> I want to, I want to watch people talk about prostitutes yeah. and credit cards. No. It's, what a coincidence! What a coincidence! So. For those people out there who were looking for these two topics to be discussed, um, what about them? All right, so let's we'll start. You know what I'm saying? Um, we'll start with flight. So we'll do prostitutes. You know what I'm saying? Only fans, sex workers, all that. You know. Okay, what I'm so saying? those are the bullet points. Yeah, those are like prostitutes can be broken down into bullet points. Yes. They're not. Yeah, it's not one. You know what I'm saying? It's not. <laughs> they're not length. too terribly complex yeah. that they can't be. Yeah. <laughs> systematically yeah. organized. And filed. Okay, yeah. so do you agree or disagree with prostitutes? They're they're just entrepreneurs. Just entrepreneurs. They and I like mean, there's no. Like, do you agree with their politics? Do you agree with their you know what's their favorite food, their favorite color? Oh, That's all I mean. I Typically, if you that. see a I prostitute, feel like, you I feel like they're all them. different because they're people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you see a sex worker and you want to have a conversation, do you typically agree or disagree? I feel like I'd have to pay for that conversation, so I wouldn't. <laughs> Those are billable yeah. hours. You gotta pay for their time, so I wouldn't. <laughs> yeah. I'd be like, nah. I'd be like, when you up? But what bro? if you said you weren't enjoying the conversation? Then you said I'd pay for that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what do you want? Uh, okay, you, uh, you get shot. You get shot out here for that. Yeah, yeah. wasting my time. Very true. Yeah. Should prostitutes be able to own firearms? I'm pretty sure they do. They do. I mean, it's some not of them. their organizers. <laughs> I mean, I'm their sure event it's a little planners. Of, it's a little bit of both. <laughs> I mean, all of them don't, but I'm sure some of them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, a little bit of both. You know what I'm saying? Depending mm -hmm. how, you know, let's say they have um, uh, large memories. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a harken back to and our we'll, our first podcast. And they like they might have a little something in there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Take it out on them in case of my getting fullest. Okay. No, no Ashanti. You know what I'm saying? No, Sean. <laughs> That's such a good song, and on Foolish. I don't. I didn't know that was a song. I was just repeating what you said. Did yeah. you see my eye roll? You're gonna have to educate me on a lot of these oh songs. These songs. Song. I don't know if they actually exist or if you're just playing me. Because a lot of the time, I'm just. I've never heard. I maybe I've heard it, but I've never heard of it. You know, by the title. So. I'm dying. There is this. Um, it was some girl. There's this whole thing on the internet. Like, I think it was. I think it was pre-COVID. It was a minute ago. I don't know, not that long ago, but like, or maybe it was during COVID, but like some, some white girl, she like, she like did a, what's it, a cover of the song basically, but she mm -hmm. like didn't really like give credit. She like just added like it was her own song, you know what I'm saying? Or I think it was Foolish. I don't know, know why I imagine this girl to look like, because there was another controversy over the, during the pandemic when Adele was like in full Jamaican. Yes, with the band team yeah, with, and stuff. The, with the yeah. dreads and everything. But yeah. apparently she like grew up there or something. Or that's what I read or something like that. It was like, know. but the, the picture was supposed to be about how skinny she got. And then it was like, people, people saw like, them, 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 them not really like, yo, what, what's going on? What's yeah. going on? I like Adele. Yeah, good for her, fire. We got over that one real quick though. She's back. <laughs> it's better than ever. I don't even think so. Has she made Does a she song make since? Yes, yeah, yeah, she she just had the one, one or two albums or yeah. something. She just had twenty. That's all she needs. She did the yeah. James Bond movie, and then what? She, she did. Out. Yeah, the Fine last. Again. 
It wasn't mm-hmm. the last one, but it was like the one of the best ones. Yeah. I was thinking James Brown. I was like, she was in there with Chadwick. <laughs> Rest in peace. No. James Bond. She's uh, British. She's British. I know. Halle, Halle, Halle Berry was in James Bond. She not British. No, she didn't sing the song. I'm saying like she's like repping her niche, you know, Great Britain, England. I mean, like <laughs> <laughs> that'd be like if she if she sung the Mission Impossible song, they wouldn't feel right. Wasn't that uh, not that she sing that? <laughs> wasn't that was that uh, that's that was a Frankie Muniz. That was Agent Cody Banks. That was what Frankie Muniz did. I think the Mission Impossible song isn't sung. By the way, I was just saying like. Mission Impossible is like intrinsically American. Like somebody like, I don't know. Um I'm blanking on even I don't know people. Who's that guy? Um <laughs> who's that guy on the voice? Uh Who? Adam Adam whatever. Levine. Now, Adam Levine. Uh, he would name? sing that song yeah. and we let Adele have James Bond because James Bond is British. I get that. You know. You know the UK has good singers. They do. Some of so all of their rappers aren't all that. I some can't of them name are any. Okay. I, can't what? Name I, love, I know I Big Shaq, and that's about it. Who's yeah. that? You talk about you talk. You know, stop. No, I was, the, I, was like, I was like I was like you talking about you talk about Shaq 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 used to rap. Tingles quack Shaq quack. Shaq used to rap. You know what I'm saying? Mine is a Uckus. You ever see Kazam? It's on Disney Plus. No, what is that? Is he? He's a genie, and there's this line in a movie where so he's this genie. It's a it's wild. So like he his 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 uh his lamp is a big boombox stereo, and there's this line where this white kid serves this little white boy, and <laughs> and there's this line the kids like oh so that means you're my slave or like it's he basically it, it's something like that if it isn't exactly wow. that because wow. you know he's he and he now has a a big shack genie to do his bidding. You know, yeah. out of this giant boombox. Do they have one of those disclaimers? At the, I'm hearing about that disclaimers at the top of TV shows on Disney Plus and other streaming services. What, now like, there's a lot of like, so, because it's Disney Plus, so they have all the old Disney movies and cartoons and things, and they're mm-hmm. starting to like revive those. And there's it's, there's some points in those shows where they'll have, you know, somewhat racist imagery or sexist um, iconography or, you know, dialogue. And so at the top of those episodes, not for the whole show, like yeah. if there's an episode without that, they won't have it at the beginning. But if like at the beginning yeah, of an same. episode, they'll be like, this episode exhibits themes of, you know, such and such Stop. and is not representative of our values in the, in the current time. I saw they'd be like changing, <laughs> they'd be changing their stuff too. Yeah, they'd be like, like going over and changing their stuff. Yeah. yeah. But no, yeah. they're not doing that with some shows and they're just like having this blanket statement at the top of the show for those episodes. It's like we can't enjoy anything anymore. Like, holy cow. Disney's wild. Disney's wild. And Disney was wild. (laughs) Dr. Seuss was wild. And you see him, he coloring people in yellow. He didn't have to spell it out. He was just like, we're just going to draw it like it is. I'm so (laughs) done. I can't. (laughs) I don't know how you. (laughs) it's It's one thing to draw a guy with a rice hat and some. Some like woodblock sandals that are roller skates, oh and you know, God. like one of those mustaches that are whiskers, pretty much. And to be like, that's not racist, that's just you know, that's that's silly, that's funny. But then when you color him in yellow, like, like, like yellow, <laughs> that's a problem. That, that, that's really just you know, that's just my cousin Tim, he that's calling the- them yellow, <laughs> essentially. <laughs> That's the thing. He like some people just like go out of their way. It's the same thing of you know coloring your skin in black and being like I'm black now, <laughs> you know, like or like coloring in a, a cartoon character pitch black. You know, you would you would be like, what the hell is going on here? Does he have a skin condition or what was oh the gosh. illustrator thinking? Hmm. It's like I don't know. Leave it up to your imagination. What does it mean? What's that one woman, Rachel, whatever? Rachel <laughs> told us all, yeah. I know her name. I don't know any British singers' names, but I know Georgia Smith. Rachel. I know Dolezal. tons of British singers. British singers are like, are like, they're good. I don't want to say they're better than the American singers. They're all British. Good, Sia British. I don't know nothing about Sia. All I know is she like hide her face. 
I don't even I don't even know what she looked like. You know what I'm saying? I heard Sia put out this movie recently that she'd been working on for like years. Like like the last three or five years. Does she hide her face in the movie? No, it's about <laughs> it's about a girl. And she's not in it, I don't think, but she's been like producing it and like bankrolling it. And it's about a girl with some kind of mental disability. I think autism is what it was. Mm. So it's about a girl who has autism and it's like following her in her life going through like middle school or high school right and they picked to play this girl they picked somebody who was abled you know who doesn't have a disability Mm. and it's a young person because they're trying to portray somebody who's going through like i said middle school or high school and this girl does such an awful job of trying to behave in an autistic way that the movie was just it was just tanked on release (laughs) because this and i'm not gonna put myself out there (laughs) doing this either but it it was just so horrid the way like this girl tried to she basically did her impression of of an autistic person like you know chumpito did and it's called the spectrum for a reason there's like a there's not one it's a whole cycle but she picked all the worst stuff no (laughs) like she's got the like kind of thing about her and it feels like a caricature of like a it feels like an insult the whole movie (laughs) i don't know if you ever saw tropic thunder oh my god don't get me started (laughs) don't get me started but there's like that one line in there where he's like, you never go full R word. Because <laughs> because Ben Stiller's character did that in a movie and then it like it ruined his career. And then he's like trying to make this movie in this um, in this on this island to as his comeback or whatever. When did, what movie do that in? Uh, Tropic Thunder. No, I mean like before. What, what? Oh, so it was a it was it was part of the plot of Tropic oh. Thunder. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. that he's a movie star. He's a, wa- a washed up movie star from the, his last role that was like him playing an autistic person. Stop. <laughs> they ain't learn. And and then <laughs> they should have got you know who they should have got. They should yeah. it should have been uh it should have been they should have followed the man. They should got what's his name Mike from that one Netflix show. Of uh, on a spec on love on a spectrum. Oh it's, yeah, yeah, that's a great show. Was it Mike? was his name Mike? I can't remember. But Mike for president. Yeah, I like that dude. That show is awesome. Yeah, I'm waiting for a second season or a third season. I can't remember how many seasons there were, but there's this show called Atypical, and it's um it's like like the dude. I think his name is Sam. Is the main character's name, and he's like a high functioning aut- autistic and um. Mm-hmm. And it's a very interesting story because it's more than about him. Like, it's about the family. and It's a very interesting show, but I I think I watched the first two seasons. I think there's more. I just didn't, like, get back into it. Because sometimes I was just, like, because I, I, I liked it, you know. I just, sometimes I just don't get back into things. Like, I don't know. I don't, I don't really be sitting around it's watching It's called Atypical? TV. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a really good show. I think I've seen a commercial for it or yeah. something. It sounds familiar. Yeah. Um, I got to watch it sometime. Back to Tropic Thunder, though, real quick. Have you seen that movie? I've seen it. I like. I didn't so see not, it from the start, but I like. I saw it. So midway. you know Robert Downey Jr. Oh my God! Yes. Well, that, oh how do you my feel gosh. about that? I'm curious. That's like. I feel like it's not like the most conversation. Conversation, but it's like <laughs> it comes up. You know what I'm saying? No, because I be, I be talking to people. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, I didn't even. I didn't even know. Like I <laughs> thought. Know? I thought it was realistic. Wow. Like, no, because I didn't. No, it know. is good. He's all sweaty and everything. Yeah. <laughs> I was so confused because first off, I didn't know cocoa who. butter all over him. Stop, and, you know, son. No castor oil. I did didn't know thing. who he was until Iron Man. I didn't know who Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> was, and I also know. So I was confused, like because I came in in the middle. So at the end of the movie, you know, mm-hmm. he like takes his face off, and I'm like, yo, yeah. they got this black dude put painting his face white, like. <laughs> I was you so was I was good. like, "What's going on?" Like, he, I mean, he's clearly got, at some points he's clearly got makeup on, but it is really crazy how they would like they must have put plastic over his face so they could spray it down because he yeah. was sweating, sweating. It like, was good. I mean, I was in like middle or high school when I saw. It. I was like, you know what I'm saying? Not like <laughs> higher high school, but you know what I'm saying? I mean, I was, he just looked like an action figure, like for real. Like he looked like <laughs> he was shiny. It was, I feel like all the dirt in the jungle and whatnot really helped, you know, kind of hide all it. All of it. It was, yeah. And the hair looked like, it looked like natural. I, yeah, I was like, I, I just I just watched it. this movie I was telling you about, The um, Bad Trip. Mm. Today I watched that on my break. And um, 
at one part in it, um, Lil Rel Howery, his character. I love him, man. That man's funny. The guy from um, Get Out. From Everything. And other things. Oh, he is from Get Out and uh, Burger Bots. That man from Everything. That's right. He was Yeah, he and Burger like, Bots. He's really good in yeah. that. I they killed him that. off. I was yeah. wow. He was like... <laughs> Same, <laughs> trembling his like cheeks same. are. Oh my, he was so <laughs> funny and get out. I was like, yo, who? Did, when I first saw get out, I was like, yo, who this dude that looked yeah. like T Pain? He's he's really good. But there's one part where he's like talking about um, how much he likes white girls or white white chicks in the movie. Yeah, yeah, no, the movie white chicks. Yeah, uh, and so at the end, what do they do? They they dress up because it's like a prank yeah. movie. They dress up as. Two white women, the same style, so with the long Stop. blonde wigs and everything. And the way he looks, is, is <laughs> they both look terrible. They look nothing like Robert Downey Jr. looked, where it was like passable. Like they, these two look like awful. And that's part of the joke, because like one of the jokes they said earlier was that <laughs> white chicks wasn't passable at all. That it was like they look like I burn mean, victims. Is the, oh my god! <laughs> that's the word that, that Eric Andre used. That they look like burn victims. So they made th- these two look especially like whack. <laughs> But Lil Rel's neck is like part of the <laughs> part of the face, like with the makeup on. Like they have him in a dress that shows like this much of his chest or whatever. And his neck just is a part of that. <laughs> like, and it's just his chin. He looks what like Peter Griffin without a neck. <laughs> it's really funny. I'll show you a picture of it if I can pull it up. Time. White but chicks is funny. I feel like that's movie. still reference. Like And they talked about Terry Crews in that yeah. too. I immediately like looked with the with the, like, the with the whistle and the light <laughs> stuff, man. I'm done. Uh, uh, making my way downtown. <laughs> so what about credit cards now? Let's talk about credit cards. I mean, like, you know what I'm saying? So my strategy is um get a bunch of them and then let your credit get ruined. That's my strategy. A lot of people now they're like, you know, oh, it's like credit cards, but my credit's not good enough. Well, you should have got credit cards when you're young and now that your credit get messed up. I mean, that's not advice to take. I mean, but it is at the same time, you know what I'm saying? I mean, don't ruin your credit, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But like most people don't get credit cards because it's like, I mean, honestly, credit's like a whole thing. It's kind of like helping ruin the economy, you know what I'm saying? It's a whole mess. But like I use credit cards heavy. They like you get the cash back, you know what I'm saying? Like it's so tempting to use it and it's not like it's going to go away. Yeah. But it's like, it's, a, it's just it's just the whole thing but like credit's not going nowhere you know it's uh i like i like the fact that i have cards and like my first card was a best buy card because like uh i got my laptop repaired or something like that and i just and then i was like oh they got cards they give you cash back i was like yeah let me let me get them so now i just got cards you know yeah it's just it's just what it is Man, i don't do that like i'm i'm too scared to have too many credit cards because i'll spend too much money there you go there you go right there uh, that's just my I mean, I feel like at least you know, yeah, that's good. But, like, I don't know. Sometimes you got to take risks. You can take risks, but at the same time, like, if you have too much temptation laying around, at least be, like, I'll get carried away. I know it. Oh, shit. That scared me. Let me get that. Go ahead. I know, right? Right now, I'm trying to pull up an image of this, but it's like, I guess this movie just came out today or something. But here it is. They go to the Hamptons. So the Hamptons is in New York. It's like where like billionaires live, <laughs> and they sneak into this gala. For it says the fifth annual defeat extinction gear and gala. So it's just for like, for like extinct or a near extinct species oh, like in Africa or something. And stuff. And these are billionaires raising money for this at a at a ball, and they sneak in here somehow, or they pay somebody off to get in here. Dressed like this. Oh my God, come on. I'll show it to you here. I'm going to keep it out of the camera's view so you, you know, but I'll see your reaction to it. Go, stop, look at him. His stop. neck literally is part of his, so his like, collarbone. So, like, the one in the pink actually kind of looks realistic, but like. No, Eric Andre looks like. Yeah. Looks, looks like an animatronic thing out of five he nights at like Freddy's. A, he doesn't he look like, like a, a person. Even. He looks like a white Wendy Williams. And then Tiffany Haddish comes in dressed like a white man. Stop. And that's even worse because her must, she has a mustache and it's like peeling off. No. And it's like Stop. and hers just looks like Dave Chappelle as as whatever his name is. Oh, oh my. Uh, what's character. it? What's it? Uh, Chuck. It's yeah, Chuck. Chuck. Yeah, it's Chuck. <laughs> Back to you, Chuck. That's oh. really what she looks like just with brown hair instead of blonde hair. I gotta see this. It's so terrible. But he is, but uh, Lil Rel's is the best. 
I, it, my man's really look. He looks like he could be Carl Weezer's mom Stop. if he wanted to. They showed Carl's mom in the show, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. But yeah. She, I think she has black hair, but still. Mm. Jimmy's mom. He's <laughs> definitely the most passable. It's a funny movie. I definitely we should watch that. Um, Do you want to? We got to watch the Justice League movie at some point, and then we got to watch that. Um, I'll watch that again. Like, two. Th- I was laughing so hard. I was all alone that I was laughing like the Joker downstairs in here. Dang. I'm Whoa. sure the people next door were like. They wilding. They wilding. Oh, there you go. There you go right there. Oh, you see dang. these billionaires in here yeah. like staring at them like, what is Stop. going on? Because at some point, Tiffany Haddish comes in and she takes over like the I MC. just thought she came in and pushed them. She's like, hey, what's up? <laughs> and she starts putting on like I'm actual dang. like. Yeah. Look like, look like, look <laughs> like Chuck. You know what I'm saying? Look like, back to, back to you, Chuck. <laughs> I'm so done. But, yeah. Hold up there, uh, Darnell. I'm, 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 you know what I'm saying? With the, with the, with the, uh, with the race swap, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. There we are, yeah. Tiger Woods officially black. Uh, uh, the whites took uh, Condoleezza Rice and uh, who else they take? They took somebody. And then the black side. Tiger then, Woods? Or did he go to the Asians? And the, when they did the, you know, he, he was black. He was like, I always yeah. want to say this. Wow. <laughs> yeah, he's like, bye bye. Fried rice, hello, fried chicken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like no, the the Asians got uh the RZA, the Jizza, the yeah. entire Wu Tang Clan. Oh. That was a good, that was a good sketch. That show, that whole show, that whole show, it was crazy. Yeah. I mean, like now you know now now we have an understanding as to why he left, but it was it was such a great show. Well, I'd love to go on and on, and we were supposed to talk about the homeless lady too, but oh my, you goodness. know, you got to go and yes. um, we're. 20 minutes here, so I think it's a good time to wrap up. You got anything right. to say? I got two things to say today. Any uh, parting words? You better my, hurry up and get them out. Then. My first one, uh, it's not premarital sex if you never get married. And my second one, if you're not a fan of a singer, chop them in their throat. And that's all I have to say. Okay, that's pretty also, solid. Also, I would never do that. Um, but, okay. Um, you know what I'm saying? I, don't, I would never harm anybody. Yeah, disclaimer. You and and we don't encourage anyone either, but it's just, yeah. you know, advice. We don't encourage violence. It's out there like, now. It makes sense. It's logical. It does you know make what I'm sense. Saying? Yeah. Exactly. Be like, I'll ruin your whole future. You know what I'm saying? All right. Yeah. Get out of here. All right, then. Go, run. Bye. <laughs> Clock's ticking. I'm done. It's not the before nine show anymore, but, you know, the rules still apply now, don't they? Yes, sir. time.